right, there you go. Some choice wards back and forth. The NA transcendence is coming through. Not so great translocations either. But uh, messiness from both of these teams in their recent matches. They're trying to maintain control. See, if they're able to find the stick, not going to happen there for Nene. But they will be able to get the pop on the sleeping bear all the same. In the meantime, Revenge comes back through. Another transcendence popped out for him. Wicked is looking for a place to go with his meteor strike. Drops in straight in on top of Sleepy Bear. Finds Asher with that rocket punch and manages to stay alive with the flip. Oh, is going to go down off the bat as Hot Punch just gives him the boo. See that transcendence come through from Revenge. Now the Riptire coming out. Architect getting in, riding it up into the ceiling, looking for a target. Will be dropping it straight in on top of Wan J. Lee. Will that be enough? 99% here on both sides. Double overtime, and it seems like it's just going blow for blow as Oparochi goes down, but Architect picks up Wicked, so DPS being suffered on both sides. Tanks going down. Shane goes in onto the point, has a sound barrier to help keep him in the fight, and Sleepy Bear will go ahead and go down as Hotbot just picks up the double kill. And it seems like that might be enough for the flip and maybe even just to take. Asher has the dash True. in, but he, we're almost to 100% for LW Red, who are just scrambling to try to get something done. But they lose out on the arc, they lose out on the roar. Wicked is dead. Nene about to go down, and this might just be Conbox evening up the rounds here on Nepal. Nene is going to buy a little bit of time, pushed away, taken out. They just don't have any realistic way to buy time now. No self destruct, no primal rage. Dragon Blade alone is not going to do the task. That should be it. On Jay Lee. It's just to build these rip tires, and so far they've been very unsuccessful. Let's see what this one gets done. Coming in, he's trying to wrap it around the backhand side. Only has a few seconds Good remaining. Angle. Good angle. Can he have the pop? We'll go ahead, drop that one in, and gets the break on the hot boss suit. But is that going to be enough? Is the question. Well, the as LW Red still traded back quite a many few kills. OGE is still playing quite far forward. Looks like they might be getting the flip here at about 85%. Comes back in, they have the delay, and now Roar arrives with his own primal range to answer that of OGEs. So for now, he's just trying to get rid of Wan J. Lee, but actually, oh, the flip happens Lee on the kills backside. Him as well. I mean, everybody topped up. Another one. Have another support this ultimate. Has to be a good one. Let's see if he can find anything. Looks like he's looking for Wicked, just goes ahead, gets rid of the Doom Fist. Zenyatta's still going to be there. You can see LW Red Hold comes on. through from Asher and takes him out of the fight. Now Transcendence is going to be forced out. By Wan J. Lee, Conbox answer with the sound barrier. They've already used the Transcendence to stay in the fight, and they still are going to be in a lead. They have a man advantage so far. They're looking to add to it as they get rid of Roar and maybe even Wicked as he goes dangerously low. Nene tries to dash back to get the Mega Pack. Won't be able to do so. And this could be Conbox picking up our first map. Rip Tire in. Gets rid of Hot Paw after they pop him out of the Mecha. It's, I think they actually might have done it. Yep. Ark is trying to stay alive, but there's no way for him to approach that point. And Conbox for the first time in a while, would put a map win on the board. With his yeah. Discord orbs, he's gonna have that transcend. Does get it up here just barely in time. And Nene falls with the Pulse Bomb in his pocket. Roar and Wicked both going down, and I think Combox have done it. Arc falls, yeah, pretty much everybody goes down. Just one Jay Lee left to his own. Right in front of point B. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining, and just a few meters in front of the point is that payload at the moment. Nene poking around from the side. Doesn't even need the Pulse Bomb, just goes ahead, takes out Revenge. Oberochi falls swiftly thereafter as the Primal Rage Winston's just go ham. But it's gonna be both supports dead on both teams. So all hell pretty much breaking loose, just a war of attrition. But it seems like LW Red might just be the ones to come out on top. Payload starts moving forward, but Wicked re-arrives with that Meteor Strike at the Pulse Bomb. Gonna be taking him down. Dragon Blade comes the uppercut, through. Gets rid of Sleepy Bear, but yeah, that's gonna be the payload. Connecting into the station. So now more time on the clock for Conbox. Three and a half minutes to try to make it through the studio. And again, behind the barrier, now behind the payload. And they're just gonna go ahead and shove an entire self-destruct straight back toward him. We'll dodge that one out as does Roar dodge out onto that post spot. But he goes forward, tries to contest the payload, and immediately gets taken down. Now the Riptire, gatekeeping, finds two, gets rid of Nene, gets rid of Ark, and Conbox might be able to do it. It's 12 seconds remaining. They have the man advantage, but the respawns are coming through now for the side of LW Red as they desperately try to maintain control. Hotma popped out of the mech into the Baby Diva form. Roar goes forward, it is still alive. They've actually gotten rid of Architect. They've gotten rid of Revenge, and now they have the sound barrier. LW Red desperately trying to turn this one around to the best of their ability. Okay, Nene stays alive here. So important, Sleepy Bear stays on that point. The Pulse Bomb exchange coming through from the Tracers. Asher gets OGE, or gets Wicked, and Nene gets OGE. Now on Jay Lee, moving off that Zenyatta comes back in with a Reaper, gets taken down by Architect, the Nana Boost coming through, but they're all just staying alive. As he fires away, desperately trying to come up with the kills. Helix Rockets, point blank in onto Arc, does not find the kill. Overtime meter just completely collapses, and LW Red tie the score one to one as they take in that last exchange. 
Humbox wants this point early, man. They're gonna force out multiple ultimates here. LW Red gonna go ahead and throw down that sound barrier, but Conbox has their own to go ahead and match, and they are just getting the kills. Both tanks now gonna be either dead or exposed as they get the pop out onto that mech there from Hotbox. Conbox I mean, they're has stuck in the all the way back. He's got Meteor Strike. This is probably just a cap, right? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Things going. Architect is the recipient of that nano boost. About to have the Dragon Blade available, but actually goes down. And now the kills just come pouring forth for LW Red. OGE popping the Primal Rage, tries to stay in the fight. The Transcendence will help him do so for the moment. And that's going to allow for the remaining members of Conbox to get their respawns in and get back in onto the point and keep this delay going. But if Revenge immediately goes down, OGE falls. Architect needs to have a game-breaking Dragon Blade if they want to stop this push. Finds one, gets one Jay Lee, gets a nice dash through. Everybody focuses him out and he's forced down onto the low ground. Still surviving, still buying time. Couple more percent no, low, managed to get the shields back in and pops the Transcendence before it's all too late. It gets it. down. It's gonna be the first one that falls. Self-destruct thrown up into the air. We'll find Architect who swapped over onto that junk rat. They need more though. It's gonna be down, but yeah, Sound Barrier comes through here for the side of Conbox to keep themselves alive and in the fight. Sleeping Bear has his own self-destruct ready to go. Can buy some space and we'll actually just go ahead and toss that one out. Doesn't find any kills with it. Just force them back away from the point, at least for the moment. But now all hell is breaking loose. Zarkatek actually swaps back over to the Doom Fist to try to rejoin the fight. But honestly, they might not even need him. We'll get that, pu that punch there in onto Roar to take him down. But the rest of the work is being done by the likes of Asher. He just takes them down. They'll get the knockout there on the hot spot. Revenge. He can use this Rip Tire to get an insta pick onto right. the Doom Fist. That's his plan here. He's already tossing it out. Here it comes. Yeah, and the Transcendence is going to be finished. He's going straight in over to the point by the look of it. Oh, but oh, another one comes through. Architect has to slam the Meteor Strike. Gets rid of two. He follows up with the Rocket Punch. Gets rid of Nene. Now four members on the side of LW Red have gone down. Arc falls. The Primal Rage taking him out. And now it's just hot but desperately trying to stay in the fight. He'll get taken down. Wicked jumps back in. Immediately eliminated. Nele, they Nele that getting they jumped that on. He goes back in. The self-destruct gets popped. Doesn't find any kills. Wan Jay Lee is back over onto that May, trying to delay, but he gets taken down. And one after the other, That's they it. will get pushed off, and Conbox will complete the 33%. And Architect was the game changer right there for them. There's no doubt Obrochi is spamming the Z key, showing that ult charge. It's just not ready yet. Yeah, no, it's not. Architect's gonna go low, dashes up into the air, manages to stay alive at least here for the moment. Or tries to chase him down, tries to get that pick off. In the meantime, Obrochi is actually no gonna be taken out. OGE answers back, gets rid of one Jay Lee, but it's an exchange there onto Sleepy Bear as he falls. Pulse bomb from Nene, finds revenge after he takes down the Baby Diva, and LW Red are looking for the completion here. It seems like they might be able to get it. Dragon Blade comes out from Architect, only gets Hotba, and he'll get taken down, smacked into the grave by Roar with that Primal Raid. Blade. It finds two kills now, Meteor Strike coming through. Doesn't find the kill, but has the uppercut, comes back in onto the high ground, seismic slam, straight into the shot there on the back from OGE. He falls, Sleepy Bear's dead. Oparochi goes down, Revenge trying to delay this one, but the ice block's actually not really next to the payload. Yeah. So I think that uh, this is gonna be LW Red getting that completion here. Last second jump through from OGE. He's got the Primal Rage to buy a little bit more time, but he gets pooped on the clock. It is Barely inching for the Econ box, and they still have to go the distance. Architect goes down. They're able to trade one back there onto Nene, but that's just a slight reprieve here for Conbox. They have so many other issues to worry about. Right. But they lose out onto Sleepy Bear, and we're into overtime. Sound barrier comes through Conbox, desperately trying to get things done, but one J Lee gets taken out. Architect good opening angle. here for Conbox. They try to get this done. Okay, here comes the rip tire. What's he gonna get? Can he find anything? Architect, yes, that's the most important one. Yeah, gets rid of Architect right before he was able to get that Dragon Blade available. So. W Red still trying to shut them down I from the high ground. Wicked firing away, gets rid of Oparochi. They boop OGE to death. Satchel charge in, just have to get rid of this pesky diva. And it's all gonna be over. Seems so very likely. There you go, it plummets down as the Primal Rage knocks her away. That is gonna be the hold on point A. And we are going to game number five, Conbox. Not gonna come up with any kills, but the rest of the team is picking up that slack as Asher has gone down. Sleepy Bear now getting knocked out of the back, does fall. Revenge has that transcendence. He's desperately trying to keep OGE alive, but it's still a task, even with that, just because of that Discord Orb coming Great through. Blizzard, though. Great does Blizzard. come down, headshot there, in onto Wicked, but Architect gets punished, and the self-destruct finds Oparochi. So Conbox, despite their best efforts, are still struggling just to make it back over to the payload. Self-destruct comes through, not gonna be finding anybody. And OGE is pushing back in and does have that Primal Rage available, but is it going to be enough? Because it's still two minutes on the clock. 
AOG using this Primal Rage. The Blizzard bought enough time for them to come in here. Point zero three meters. If they move away from this and somebody from LW Red is there, oh, so can almost meters left it. to go. Nene missed timing there with the Pulse Bomb. Does not find the kill. In onto the main. Barrier's up. OG has gone down yet again. Self-destruct not finding anything. The sound barrier comes through here from Oparochi. Matched by Wan Jay Lee with the transcendence, but Revenge actually just throws his into the mix as well. Desperately wants to win this fight. Nene so far the only one dead from LW Red. Gonna be trying to rejoin the fight, but now losing out onto the Zenyatta is gonna be crippling for them. And Wicked, he goes down right before he gets the Meteor Strike available. The sound barrier cannot be channeled by Ark. Lord desperately pops the Primal Rage to try to buy some space, but there's too many people to knock away. And that overtime meter is plummeting down 1.65 meters is likely what is going to be remaining into the back yet again trying to duke it out here with the enemy tracer throws down that pulse bump but it's not going to be getting anything self-destruct has to be used by Sleepy Bear to try to make it back into the back, but they actually find two opening picks here as Roar Wicked go down. Wan Jay Lee is falling down. Four members already dead on the side of LW Red as Conbox starts pushing forward, trying to get this payload moving, but they still have quite a bit of distance to complete because of the rollback. They get Ark for the stagger at the end. Wan Jay Lee swapping back over to the May. Is it going to be enough, or can Conbox get this completion? The kid goes low, has to go back into the spawn point, get regenerated. Has that Rip Tire ready to go? Those this could be the game breaker. The support ultimates gave him that primal rage. He doesn't have it now. Here comes that Rip Tire. Pops this one out. He's looking for the pick. Doesn't find it. Architect kills his tire. Answers. Finds some vengeance here, vengeance here for his own ultimate. But Wicked finds the kill in onto Asher. Now the self destruct thrown out by Hotpaw. Looking for the pick. Not going to be finding anything. Wicked and it's solo. into overtime. Conbox backs up against the wall. They lose out onto both of their tanks. Turning this one around would be so very crazy. But it looks like they're not going to do it. They do not in the end. And LW. W Red will take Eichenbolt, they will take this series, and they will take themselves into another best of five versus NC Foxes to try to qualify for the semifinals. 이번에 좀 저번보다는 나름 많이 나아졌고 저번 경기는 이제 갈라지는 것도 많고 경기력이 매우 안 좋았거든요. 그래서 나도 생각해 본 적이 저도 타이머 선수 뽑겠습니다. 네, 뭐, 대회에서도 많이 봤었고, 제가 몇번 개인 방송도 봤었어요. 굉장히 좋더라고요. 음. 아무래도 팀과의 소통을 절단하고, 이제 하고 싶은 그런 빈방을 하는, 아무래도 그런 쪽이 아닐까 싶습니다. 지금 메르시 패치된 이후로 메르시 궁도 이제 발킬이라는 궁을 쓰면 잡기도 매우 힘들어지고 또 이제 부활이 스킬이 된게 아무래도 좀 많이 크지 않나 싶어요. 그냥 제 개인적인 생각인데 팀 성향, 팀 성향에 따라서 아무래도 디바 운영 방식이 또 바뀌면서 아무래도 이제 대회에서나 그런 때 적용되는 걸 봐야 될것 같아요. 음. 큰 변화는 모르겠고 아무래도 타격은 클것 같아요. 어, 저는 아무래도 케어 형식이 더 낫다고 생각해요. 지금도 뒷라인이 매우 터지기 쉬, 쉬운데 지금 상황에서 만약 디바의 매트릭스가 더 줄어든다면 아 네, 좀 아무래도 혼자 고립되거나 좀 포싱을 당하면 좀 죽기 많이 쉬워요. I'm a big fan of the people who are in the world. I'm a big fan of the people who are in the world. I'm a big fan of the people who are in the world.